Hello, welcome to a haul. We bought some stuff and now we're gonna open it. Basically, we wanted an excuse to go shopping. So, where did we shop? We shop. We bought stuff off Everlane. I bought something from Koto. And what and was your other thing? Mine's from Nordstrom, but it's from the brand Girlfriend Collected. So oh, they don't show ship to New Zealand, yeah. do they? So, so basically, annoying. all of the stuff is like ethical slash eco-friendly organic clothing. So. We're quite excited to do this haul. Mm. I've never had anything from Everlane before. I feel like so many people talk about it. Oh yeah, this video isn't sponsored by Everlane. We no. just spend our own money on this. <laughs> We're not that I cool. I wish it was sponsored by <laughs> I just know a lot of YouTubers are sponsored by them. Yes, they do. Or like, like gifted worked. hauls. Yeah, but it worked. It worked. We were like, we need to buy something. Yeah. We also were very strategic about what we bought so that we were under the like customs import tax thing. If you buy over a certain value that you then have to pay extra like Jimmy B. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see her ear. <laughs> She's so pale. <laughs> hey, let's see if it'll focus on Jelly Bean. No, it's gonna focus on you. Can you see her back there? <laughs> Say hello Jelly. She's getting off. <laughs> Okay, alright. Okay. As we were saying, just a cat distraction <laughs> that could happen a lot. We were talking about custom. So basically, oh, yeah. if you spend over a certain amount, it's kind of usually around like 180, 200 New Zealand dollars, then you get charged an import fee, which I'm not about. <laughs> okay, should we start? I'm gonna start with my Everlane one. True, because, because I'm not gonna lie, I have opened the Koto one already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you put it back in the box. I put it back in the box. <laughs> I opened one of my things, but I haven't opened these shoes and I've been dying. Oh, I just spoiled it. I bought some shoes. <laughs> it's interesting that both of mine came in like brown paper boxes with no sellotape, just like paper tape. You can tell it's like an eco conscious brand. <sighs> Who's gonna get in first? Oh my god, it's a race now. Oh, it's a box Ooh. inside a box. <gasps> Oh my god, I Ooh. love the packaging. It's got okay. a little, I'm assuming this is the receipt. It says on the back, good choice. At Everlane, we want the right choice to be as easy as putting on great t-shirts. That's why we partner with the best ethical factories around the world, source, source only the finest materials, offer beautiful products at radically transparent prices. Because that's the thing about Everlane. Is you <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this, this is the complication of cats. Um, is that... The thing about Everlane is that they have this transparency thing on their website where you can look up the exact cost, like how much you pay to get it sewn, how much the materials cost, how much their profit is, overheads and mm -hmm. everything. So it's, it's a really, really cool. unique company, like they're just like 100% transparent and they do their best to like, well they make sure everything is very ethically made and everyone is paid fairly who works in the factories. They have gotten a little bit of slack for not using like 100% organic fabrics for everything. Mm. But I think it's amazing what they're doing. Oh, you're straight into it. Yeah, Sorry about it. it. So first item I got is a plain black t-shirt because I really wanted to see what the Everlane t-shirts were like. This one is also from their re-cotton range. So it's 60% recycled cotton, which is really cool. Um, I feel like recycled cotton, it sometimes doesn't have as good a quality as non-cotton. It's a little bit see-through, but I reckon it'll be nice. I'm, I'm excited like to try it on. Yeah, it's not too long. Shape. It's a very classic, like, t-shirt shape. I'm just looking at the hems being like, this is unusual what a t-shirt hem looks like. Look at that. How strange. And part of me is I like, like, I'm like, I like it, but I'm also like, was this a mistake? <laughs> I'm assuming it's not. Jelly's into the box. Jelly bean, no. Yes, jelly bean, yes. <laughs> She's like, this box for me? Box for me? So I got a pair of sneakers. And they're not just any sneakers. They're awesome sneakers. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god. What the hell? I literally opened them and the first thing I can see is it's got blue ink on the sneaker. I suppose that I can probably wipe that off easily. Can try if it doesn't work. It's just like when they patched that, they would have seen that. That's like right <laughs> on the top. It's like a blush pink sneaker. With like the seeds are too blue. bright. But... That's annoying. So tell me about these sneakers. What's the deal? Okay, wait, them? first, story time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> about a pair of sneakers. Um, in one of my last vlogs, I showed these like blush pink sneakers mm -hmm. that I got from Overland. Um, merchant or the now. merchant, they're called merchant now. <laughs> um, but they were the most horrendous shoes I've ever worn in my life. I wore them literally for 10 minutes walking to the bus stop. 
and my feet have never been in so much pain and I emailed and complained about it and the person replied just being like oh they just wear the shoes they take a while to break in and I'm like no 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 this is not breaking in shoes this is like murdering my feet um, so I sold those on trade me and decided <laughs> to <laughs> so get a poor person bought them off you being yeah. like oh cool some <laughs> shoes and you're just like sucker <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so these are the tread sneakers from Everlane. And basically the goal with these was for them to make like a zero impact um, sneaker, which I mean by zero impact on the earth, carbon neutral, not is in a foot term of sneakers. Cause that's what mom thought when I told her. She's like, oh, they just meant to be super comfortable. Like zero oh. impact on the ground. I was like, no, 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 environment mom. So they're really cool sneakers. They're basically zero impact carbon neutral sneakers. And they've cut the amount of usual plastic you'd use in a sneaker by 54%. The sole inside the shoe is 94.2% free of virgin plastic. They used recycled and natural rubber, which kept eight, 18,000 pounds of rubber out of landfills and cut greenhouse gas emissions by 54%. The laces are made of recycled plastic bottles. And the lining. So obviously they still produce like some like greenhouse gas emissions and some bad things when they make shoes. Um, but to balance it out and make try and make it carbon neutral, they plant trees and they participate in like two different tree planting um, charities. I'm gonna link the webpage um, down below because that was really bad and really rambly the way I explained it, but this is a sneaker. They're cute too. Can I open mine now? Sure. So my second item from Everlane was also a pair of shoes. So I got these leather slides. Very simple. Cute, they've got a rubber sole. I was worried they'd have a leather sole, which isn't as good for New Zealand because it's really wet here. So the leather soles kind of don't do so well. Nice and flexible. Easy to slip on. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> you don't have a 10 minute story about this <laughs> shoe. Like I just no. did with my sneaker. I'm no. sorry, everyone. Should I put them on? Oh my god, should we? <laughs> I was reading the reviews online and everyone suggested sizing up half a size. I can't get mine on. This but now I'm like, <laughs> did I need to? Oh no, yeah. That's good size. It's pretty good. Uh, contortion. <laughs> this is my shoe. <laughs> my turn. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <coughs> oh my god, they're so comfortable. Oh my god, they're so much better than those stupid merchant shoes. You haven't walked for 10 minutes in them yet. Yeah, but you can already tell. Oh. So, um, this is so that I don't have to wear Nathan's Liverpool football slides that we have at our house. I um, think those are much more trendy. Sorry. These, these are a, a bit more fashion, a bit more me, <laughs> so. On to the next thing. Is it my turn? Yeah, good luck. In my last haul, I was showing you guys some activewear that I bought and how I was struggling to find ethical activewear. And I had previously bought from this brand called Girlfriend Collective, where they make all the activewear out of recycled water bottles and it's all ethically made, blah, blah, blah. But then after they like officially launched their company and their website, they sh stopped shipping to New Zealand. But then I discovered they ship from Nordstrom and someone actually commented on my vlog the other day that they shipped from Nordstrom and I was like, I already got my order in, I'm, <laughs> I'm onto it, don't worry but guys. thank you. <laughs> and there was so much pressure because it was the last of my size and this color because I spent a lot of time thinking about this because you see, you want activewear that's just not black because it's a bit boring. Well, you may not feel me. I like you feel me like you're black. Okay. <laughs> but then every time I went to the gym and I saw people in like patterned leggings, I was just like, mm, like it doesn't look cute and they're not flattering. Mm. So I went for navy. <laughs> navy. Not black, but almost. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's called Midnight, actually, to be correct. Oh, it's so pretty. So it's very simple shape. It's got like a racer back. A racer back? Is that what we call it? back, yeah. Your boobs deserve the best. Thank you. <laughs> our braze, bar, our braze. <laughs> our bras are made from material that's 79% recycled polyester and 21% spandex, are supportive, 100% opaque, and are so soft you'll forget you're wearing them. Just don't actually forget to wear it. <laughs> and I also got a pair of matching leggings, but they arrived separately and I couldn't resist, so I opened them and I've been wearing them for like two weeks and they're amazing. <laughs> They look really nice and thick as well. Yeah, they're like thick but soft and they're currently covered in cat fur. Thank you very much. Whose house would we have cat fur everywhere? 
There was another pair that I bought about two and a half years ago, their black pair. And the fabric feels slightly different. I think they might have changed it because I bought it when they like literally first launched and they didn't even have a proper website yet. It was probably their prototype. Yeah. Like first sample fabric. Yeah. But they're just like such great quality. Like it's still in good condition after mm. two and a half years. And that's what you want with active wear. Mm. So my next package is from Koto. Koto? Um, yes. Well, you can't call it Kowtow, but I was listening to a podcast with the like owner, founder, um, oh and gosh, she calls she was, it Koto. Oh my gosh, I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. But she said, the like, shame. some people call it Kowtow, and that's fine, so don't feel that true then. I feel um, right. I've already opened this, as I said. It comes with a really cute little little card, which has about their environmental philosophy, about how they organically farm, have sustainable water treatment, Water management, um, all of their factories are accredited with like certifications about their ethics, which is really amazing. Lots of fair trade. And yeah, got a little Koto card with a $10 off your next online purchase, which I wish I could purchase again, but you know. Um, and it all comes beautifully wrapped in a tissue paper with a little sticker. But you've already unwrapped it. But I've already unwrapped it. Tried it. it <laughs> so I got. It looks like a t-shirt just from there. It's not black, surprisingly. It's well this done. beautiful burgundy colour. And it different. is a t-shirt dress, a full length t-shirt dress. And it feels very fashion when I wear it. It's probably not everyone's cup of tea because it's quite loose. It's got that very Koto style of like that oversized kind of tent dress. Yeah, I tried to go into Smith & Coates and buy one of these um, yesterday, but they didn't have any. They only had black and I wanted the orange one with the flared like um him with the like ruffle hair yeah. the mustard one yeah mm -hmm. i was also considering that one <laughs> i had so many things in my cart for so long that i was like mm, do i want this one do i want this one but i went for this because i thought it'd be really comfy and like nice in summer but also nice to wear to like an office because I'm gonna get a job. <laughs> gonna get a job. <laughs> oh, that sounded really mean that I laughed. I just was laughing as in like that's a funny like oh, that sounds really bad. I'm not trying to explain it either. <laughs> it's okay, Ellen. Um, it's okay. I have I have two interviews this week. Second interview and a trial, so hopefully one goes well. But it comes with a belt as well, um, so you can cinch it in if you do prefer a more fitted silhouette. Um, excuse me. <laughs> that would look no great. It would look great with my Gucci belt, just saying. Yeah, it would actually. The Gucci belt would look great with this and my shoes. Yeah, so maybe you should give me both of those. No, so maybe you should give me the Gucci belt. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our... I, I would say it's a little haul, but it's actually quite a lot of new things. <laughs> For us it is, but some people on YouTube would like buy like 20 things just casually yeah, and we're like, I can't afford that. But also trying to be intentional with our mm. purchasing, very thoughtful about what we're adding to our closet. Let us know in the comments what your favourite thing was mm. and if you were inspired to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition time. I was the winner. <laughs> <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fashion, beauty, life Weirdness. content. Just <laughs> kind of whatever we feel like doing because this is our hobby. See you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.